68-year-old Rick Vaughn was diagnosed with prostate cancer two years ago. They just said that you need to do something because it's a, it's a very aggressive type of cancer. And so then he just kind of gave me the alternatives and I selected that robotic surgery. I didn't want to have to wear diapers. I wanted to have sex regular. Uh, I wanted to ride my horse. Uh, this is a cancer operation, so the biggest goal we have is to render the patient free of cancer. At the same time, we want to do it in a way that is less invasive for the patient, allows him to get back to activities quicker, and that hopefully preserves his functions that he's counting on, like returning to being continent and, if possible, potent. Robotic surgery is less invasive, and 3D magnification increases accuracy for surgeons navigating around delicate nerves and blood vessels. But a new nationwide study shows robotic surgery also has better outcomes and fewer complications. Researchers at Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit compared outcomes for over 19,000 patients who underwent robotic-assisted or open radical prostatectomy at 647 medical institutions. So this study confirmed what robotic surgeons have observed for years now, which is that patients get out of the hospital quicker, they have less complications, they have much less blood loss, and they're much less likely to receive a transfusion. Rick had no complications following his robotic surgery, and his recovery was pretty quick. I sat around for two days, and then I got tired of it. I was sore. Then I started walking down the hill. I had four months of no riding, and that killed me more than anything. It's very typical with robotic surgery now that we see patients get back to their normal activities much faster than they would with the open surgery. For me, it was no big thing. It, it was nothing. One outcome the Detroit study did not address, robotic outcomes for continence and potency. Other studies have looked at that and look encouraging. That's still a subject for more research. With Everyday Health, I'm Stephanie Sai.